For more on the markets, I want to bring in Melissa Armo, founder and owner of the Stock Swoosh. Melissa, first of all, we're twins. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year. I, I like your style. Um, Melissa, the Dow closed at a record high despite the chaos at the Capitol yesterday. Futures looking higher again today. It seems counterintuitive. What's going on? It's been a wild start to 2021 for the markets. If you remember on Monday, we gapped up, made new highs, and sold off like hotcakes. Then we rallied on Tuesday. Then Monday, the market was rallying, 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 made a new high, and then sold off very quickly when you had all of that unrest that happened in D.C. The market's trying to make a comeback here this morning. Whether or not it holds is really going to be 100 percent on what those unemployment claims numbers are that come out in about an hour. Because I think if they're higher, higher than expected, then that's going to be bad for the markets. Really, everything in 2021, as far as the markets go, is going to be very similar to 2020. It's all going to be COVID. COVID is going to be the number one deciding factor in how the markets react in 2021. Um, If that's the case, though, shouldn't the markets be down? Because the COVID situation is out of control. Well, right now, we haven't locked down again in the U.S. So you've seen Japan locked down. You've seen U.K. locked down. The vaccine has started rolling out. So I think right now, investors are optimistic that, number one, we're not going to lock down again. And number two, the vaccine is going to be given to enough people and enough people are going to take it, but it's going to slow the spread. Whether or not that's really going to occur or not, I don't know. And I think that is going to create selling in the market if, in fact, we would lock down again. I'm talking about countrywide. There's still states that are locked down. New York, for example, is really, we never reopen here in New York. California's locked down. Places where the cases have gone up, uh, they're seeing more and continued lockdowns. But countrywide, we're not locked down. If uh, Joe Biden locks the country down for 15 days or 30 days, like we did about a year ago, I think that's going to be negative for markets, and I think the markets will sell off. Uh, Are you troubled at all by the fact that the vaccine rollout has been going at a snail's pace in this country? I think that it's very difficult to do a rollout like this. I think that the administration did a fantastic effort with the warp speed to get the vaccine done by funding those pharmaceutical companies uh, so that they could create the vaccine as quickly as possible, which they did. As far as the rollout goes, I think it's been up to the states. It's state by state really what's happened. I think Governor Cuomo could be doing a better job here in New York. You've had the cases going up slightly here in New York. It's been the outer boroughs. But as far as the federal government, they did the best they could as far as getting the the vaccine out to people. It's up to the states and the governors. I'm just going to, forgetting even the politics of it, I mean, objectively, it's not going well. A third of the vaccines have been administered, two thirds have not. Does that trouble you as an investor when you talk about the economy getting back up and running? Well, really, the biggest thing for the economy getting back up and running for me isn't the vaccine, isn't the vaccine rollout at all. It's really whether or not businesses are going to be able to stay uh, open and thrive. When you have so many people in unemployment, it's going to come to roost. And, And banks rallied yesterday, for example. But I've been talking about this for weeks and months. I can't see how banks don't have a slide off this year in their earnings reports when you have so many people that are behind in their mortgage payments and commercial leases also where people are going to start to be behind too. And then people are going to vacate some of these commercial buildings because of the fact that they're going to be on Zooms. People are working from home. For me, it's not really about the vaccine. It's about whether or not people are going to get back to work. Now you say, well, Melissa, you know, if people take the vaccine, people are going to feel safe to go back to work. Well, maybe they will. But you know what? At the end of the day, we don't even know if the vaccine is going to 100 percent prevent people from actually getting it. Now there's a second strain. You know, every year you have the flu shot. Well, the flu shot is there's a flu variance to the shot. So how do they know that this vaccine is even going to help the second strain? So I think it's very problematic right now. People need to take precautions when they go out, but people need to work. And for me as a person watching the economy, watching the number of unemployment rates going up, watching the number of people that are out of work, that's the biggest thing. The vaccine to me personally, I'm not going to take it. So, I mean, I hope they don't do a federal mandate on the vaccine as well. It's not the vaccine for me. It's people not working. Um, business leaders were, I I just want to get back to what happened in Washington yesterday. A a lot of business leaders came out saying that there needs to be a peaceful transition of power. Um, we saw the CEO of JP Morgan, Alphabet, Bank of America, 
all condemning the violence. Uh, and there's some concern about the next two weeks and if the president is still fit for office. So what do you make of what happened yesterday um, and what kind of impact could it have on the markets? The market sold off yesterday in that, but now it's recovered today. So I don't think long term is anything that happens in the next two weeks is going to impact the market in reference to uh, President Trump leaving office. As far as yesterday, it's unfortunate. It's terrible. Four people were killed. One woman was shot. I, I don't condone any violence on, on either side. But I will tell you this, the call for defunding the police that happened all of 2020, if nothing but anything, the lesson from yesterday is you cannot defund the police. We need law and order. We need the police. Here in New York City, they defunded the police $1 billion last year, uh, courtesy of Mayor de Blasio. That was a terrible idea. Crime is up in all the major cities across the country. You need the police. You need law and order. Thank God the police were able to clamp down on what happened at the Capitol yesterday. It was very scary for Congress and very scary for a lot of people. I think that President Trump uh, issued a statement this morning, and I think the idea of trying to remove him two weeks before his term is is utterly ridiculous, in my opinion. Okay, Melissa Armo, founder and owner of this stock swoosh. Good to have you on this morning. Appreciate it.